and sisters, to make our celebration acceptable to the Lord, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever preaching, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you. We bless, we bless you. you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Most High, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with the holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with the world thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope to our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered 
appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days he will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were looking on, He was, uplift, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Son. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shout of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts His throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord, amid trumpet, blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts His throne to shout so joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon His holy throne. God mounts His throne to shout so joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the calling you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another true love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body, and one spirit. As you were also called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature to manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive up demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word to accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the Holy Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with Spirit. your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the ascension of the Lord, there are three things, three P that you can see with the Lord. And I want to connect it also with this beautiful couple that they celebrate their silver anniversary. First point, the promise. The promise that Jesus will go back to the Father and sit at the right hand of Him. That is His promise that He will be with us even it will be in heaven and it will be at the right hand of the Father. With faith, we accept it as we profess our faith. Second, the providence, that through the power of the Spirit, He will be the provident God who will protect us with His love. And lastly, with His presence, that even He may not be physically present, He will be with us spiritually through God's Spirit, assuring us, telling to us with hope that He is our God who is with us, our God who is for us, and our God who is within our heart. My dearest brothers and sisters, we stand witness here at the renewal of the vows between Dr. Melvin and Dr. Maria Holland. 25 years since they made a promise to love each other, it is fun I wish to share with you what transpired with their love story. First, from chance to change. Over the years, they took a chance for each other. Melvin admitted that he did not fall in love at the first sight of Pauline, but it took at least 10 years after. To his words, Mukhang manan, medyo sublada, at may pimples pa. <laughs> Yet, he took a chance on her. He did not let those physical imperfections blur his eyes. Instead, he changed his perspective. He changed his paradigm. He discovered that there is more than meets of this eye, and that change brought him the love of this life. 20 years and ongoing, the promise, just like the Lord, a faithful and enduring love filled with faith. Second point, from serendipity to providence, Maria Holland shared, that the relationship is an occurrence of serendipitous moments, one after the other. By the way, for more details, I can give you their, their, their answer to the 10 questions I asked them. Ariel at rcj.org, up to 10 o'clock. After that, may bayad na po. And in those by chances events, they were able to see the real person in each other. It is said that serendipity brings two people together. 
but I dare say, providence brings people together. God is in the work. God is in the midst of Melvin and Paulette, even as they were starting their love story. And I dare say too, that God it is in the works even before they have met each other. God is the organizer. God is the planner. God is the ultimate one that brings them together. So Melvin and Paulette, as you celebrate 25 years and look forward to another 25, I admonish you to trust His providence. You have proven His love all these years with your lovely children, Marcus and Mateus, together with all your families and friends here. I admonish you to continue to cling to each other with, form, with faithfulness. Providence sealed with God's love. Lastly, from now to beyond 25 years of being together is a feast. 20 years of being patient, understanding, resilient, and adaptable to each other is indeed a grace, a blessing. 25 years is indeed a celebration worthy of it. Yet we appeal to the author of life to grant you the grace to look forward for your next 25, still full of love, full of steel, healthy, happy. Maganda po pala pag to 25 years, nagiging slim ang iba po. And still form out of the likeness and image of the Lord's sacred heart. And it's so beautiful that you are being married on the month of May with Mary, our blessed mother. With your friends, families, and all those who love you, surrounding you today, I wish you to impart my prayer and my blessing. Dr. Melvin, and Dr. Maria Paulette, may you continue to see the promise of each other filled with faith. May you continue the providence of the Lord sealed with love. And may you continue the beautiful and lovely presence of a faithful and loving God to your covenanted love filled with hope now and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. We shall now proceed to the simple rite of renewal. May we request the company sponsors to come forward and light the candles. May we request also the principal sponsors to please stand in your respective places to witness the exchange of wedding vows. Dearly beloved, Melvin and Paulette, you stand here today before the Lord to give Him thanks for having shown you His love in a very special way when He blessed and consecrated your love on the day of your marriage assuring you to stand by your side in your every need, entrusted the success of your married life to you as a task and as a gift. You thank Him now for all these years of shared joys and sacrifices, perhaps also of sorrows and struggles, which are part of life. You still need Him now, that you may continue on the way of love and loyalty, which cannot be go on growing. The Christian community, especially your family, rejoices with you and asks the Lord with you, that He may bless you and keep you in His love. May I ask you, dear brothers and sisters, to join Melvin and Paulette in giving thanks for the Lord for His goodness and in praying that they may grow together, living in God's love. Now please your, join your right hands. First time in the arm. <laughs> Melvin, do you reaffirm your married love and fidelity to Maria Paulette before God and this community? Yes, I do. Maria Paulette, do you reaffirm your married love and fidelity to Melvin before God and this community? Yes, I do. Please pray now together the prayer of God's blessing. Lord God, Lord God, whose name is love. 
once you made our way sleep and called us to found a home and a family. We look back with gratitude on the years you have given us together. Help us to avoid the mistakes of the past and sustain our love with your love. That in ever growing unity of heart and soul, we may reach together your unending marriage, peace in heaven. Bless this our wish and touch. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May the Lord God confirm once more the consent which you have renewed before Him and before the church, which I and this community represent. And may Almighty God bless you now and continue blessing your union, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Melvin and Paulette, we shall all bless your wings. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, these wings, so that your servants Melvin and Maria Paulette, who will wear them, may live in goodful love and unbroken loyalty to Christ our Lord. Amen. Now give this ring to one another and say up. Maria Paul, <laughs> wear this ring. Uh, ah, sorry. <laughs> wear this ring as a sign of my of my love and loyalty. Um, in the name of the Father <laughs> and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Melvin, Dad, wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may kiss now with your beautiful wife. Kiss. Okay. Brothers and sisters, let us welcome and we thank the Lord for this silver anniversary of the renewal of Dr. Melvin and Dr. Maria Paulette. Please all stand. We shall now have our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father, and from thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us now pray for the church whose marriage reflects the union with Christ as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, which is the bride of Christ, that she may always be faithful in her mission of spreading the good news of our salvation in Christ love for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, that they may become God's instrument in protecting the family and defend life at all costs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the needs of our brothers and sisters, the sick, the handicapped, the prisoners, and all those abandoned by their loved ones, that through their presence in our community, we may be enlightened and show our charity with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For Melvin and Paulette, who celebrate today with gratitude the memory of 25 years of joys and sorrows shared in common, that they may grow in love as they grow in age and may be a blessing to each other all the days of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people who will embrace the vocation to married life, that they may learn from life and experiences of others the beauty of love that comes from generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we recommend to the Lord all our prayerful intentions. Almighty and eternal God, look down with favor upon your servants, grant them to remain faithful to you and to one another. At the end of a long, well-spent life, reward them eternal happiness together with all those who love them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. God, we pray that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from a lonely state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the inending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be you. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May calling the for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and at the willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Hosea our Archbishop and all the clergy and all consecrated men, women, and missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may to be glorious to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to our faithful and loving Lord. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit we offer each other the peace that comes from him. Peace be to each one of you. Love, Love of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the beginning, the center, and the fulfillment of every love. Blessed of you who partake in this banquet of his faithful love. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. For those who are Catholic who wish to receive communion, Please form two lines along the center lines. Please all stand. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, God, we pray the Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, to Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Maupin and Paulette, pakitingnan mo ang mga tao ang nagmamahal sa inyo. Tingnan niyo mabuti. These are the people who will continue to pray for you for your another 25 years. And I've seen all the families, the friends, together with nanay and tatay. And so, so many familiar faces, especially doctors. Andito sila lahat in order to support you. With Mary, our mother, and with Joseph. We shall give you the final blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty and loving Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God.
you may have another kiss if you wish <laughs> for 25 seconds. Please be seated for the sequence of victory. For first sequence, our newly renewed couple, Melvin and Polly, together with our solemnizing priest, Reverend Father Ariel Texon. Thank you, Father Ariel. Next couple, Oni. Shooter. Stand by the Ninongs and the Ninas. with the principal sponsors, the Ninongs and the Ninangs. Ninongs and Ninangs, please come over. Stand by uh, checking our sponsors, the candle, veil, and corn. Sponsor, bridesmaids, groomsmen, flower girls, and bearers. Ninongs and Ninangs.
author, groomsmen, bridesmaids, flower girls, and bearers. Stand by best man, me and me turn of honor. Best man rather. Our sponsor, groomsmen, bridesmaids, flower girls, and bearers. Next, couple with the best man, matron of honor, and maid of honor. Best man, maid, and matron of honor. Stand by the children of the common. Thank you, yes, man, matron of honor and maid of honor. Next couple with their children. Stand by family and relatives of the couple. Lahat po ng kamag-anak ng couple, please stand by. Couple with their family and relatives. Lahat po ng kamag-anak ng couple, please come over. Calling all 
relatives of the Papa, please join them. Friends of the OPPO, please stand by. You will be the next and last sequence of our Victoria. All the friends of the OPPO. Thank you, family and relatives of the couple. For our next and last sequence of Victoria, calling all the friends of the couple. Lahat po ng kaibigan ng couple, please come over. All members of the entourage, please get ready for the recession.
Once again, we would like to congratulate our newly renewed couple, Melvin and Paulette. Let's give them another warm round of applause. We shall now have the recession up. Members of the entourage to the center aisles, please.